Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at the new Git feature of Xcode 9, which is really amazing. And before we get started, I'd like to give you a quick update on Swift Tutorial Conference 2017. The conference is going to start tomorrow and we have so much great stuff prepared for you. So you can still register for free. As you might already know, this is an online conference so you can attend from anywhere around the world and it's completely free to join live. And as you can see here, um, we are going to have a reference time zone, which is the Pacific time. So just make sure to use, for example, this online tool to convert the time zone of the different sessions to your local time zone in order to not miss anything. And we're going to start on Saturday, September 16th. I'm going to start with a session about ARKit and we have so many other great speakers that are going to share their knowledge with you for free and the conference is going to take place on three days from uh, Saturday until Monday and again this is in Pacific time. We are also offering a great conference bundle that is going to include all of the recorded sessions and all of the source material, all of the source code. And as an attendee, you will get a 25% discount. You can use the attendee discount code in the video description below. And with that, you can save even more on the early bird conference bundle price, which is at the moment just $42. So with the attendee coupon code, you get it for about $32 but only until September 16th, so only until Saturday. And from then on, the conference bundle is going to cost $70. And I highly recommend that you register for free for the conference. Then you will also receive the attendee coupon code with an email. And you will also get notified about all the sessions in time and about how you can watch live and so on. So it's definitely worth registering for free on Swift Tutorial Conference. Net. And all of that information again is down in the video description below. And now let's get started with how cool the new Git feature of Xcode 9 is. And if you do not know what Git is, you're definitely going to find out in this video. Let me just quickly show you GitHub, which is one of the most popular services to use Git with. And if I have a look at these repositories, these are all my repositories. Most of them are public so that I can share these projects with you and you can just download them. And if I have a look at my advanced UI kit animations uh, repository with the, this is the repository for the last tutorial. And now Apple works together with GitHub and instead of just clone or download and um, downloading this as a zip file, what you can do now is just hit open in Xcode. And we will be asked if you want to allow this page to open Xcode. And if I say, allow, then Xcode is verifying that and I can decide where I want to put this repository and I can just clone it and allow the connection. And as soon as I did that, we are going to receive all of the necessary files and we will get the Xcode project that is going to open right away. So now here is our Xcode project. And as you can see, we have all of the code that we entered here in the last tutorial with everything we really need. And let me just close that again. Let me close down this, um, this project and open up Xcode again. And here I also get a new uh, view when I click on the clone an existing project in my welcome screen, then I get this new window here, which allows me to search through all of my repositories on GitHub. I can also open up the readme, which would, should look very similar to what we have here on the GitHub page. And I can also clone my repositories right here from Xcode. And this is really, really cool. Now you've seen how you can get files from a Git repository, either using GitHub and the new open in Xcode button when you hit clone or download. And you've also seen this new um, Git 
clone window in Xcode 9. But now let me show you a project that I've already created for Swift Tutorial Conference. This is going to be about um, the new drag and drop feature of iOS 11. And if you have a close look at the left navigator pane, then you will see that we have a completely new navigator here, which is the source control navigator. And here I already have committed several times when I created this project. And as you can see here, every time I committed, I have added a new message here. Like when I added all the UI components and outlets for this demo app. And now the cool thing about these commits is that you can easily find changes that were made between these commits and Apple added a really cool new assistant editor for this purpose. So if I open up the assistant editor here, I can also decide if I want the assistant editor to be at the bottom or on the bottom of my screen. And as you can see here, I can click on the view controller, for example, and just move that up a little and I can still have all the commit messages, uh, which I can use to search through, of course. So I could, for example, search for outlets so that I only get the commits that have some Something to do with outlets. And here you can now see the difference between these two files or these two commits. The right is the older version that I added and the left one is what I did. I added the outlets to my code and this is very cool to explore that in this way. So now what I'd also like to do is not only have this local Git repository on my machine, but I'd also like to have that online using GitHub and to add remote repositories so that you can upload your code or that you can push or commit your changes directly to GitHub, you can add a GitHub account in Xcode directly in the account section of the settings. So you just hit the plus button and add your GitHub account there. And then you can also make some new adjustments here for, um, for source control. Um, like if you open up the Git area here, you can add an author name, an author email. You can also ignore files that should not be pushed to your remote repository. So this is extremely cool. And what I can do now here is having a look at my um, source control navigator here and as you can see there is no remote repository yet so I can create photo drag remote on github and this is really cool so I'm going to ca call that repository uh, photo drag and can give it a description um, like um, STC drag and drop demo application. And since I do not want this to be public, I set this to a private repository. And now I can just click on create. And this is going to push all of my files to GitHub without any problem. So now I have my remote repository here with its master branch and all of the information that I've also added here in my local repository. So let me just quickly open up my GitHub account here, having a look at my profile and my repositories. So here we have now a new repository, which is my private photo drag repository. And I could add a readme, for example, or do anything I'd like now with this repository here also online. But what if I'd like to make some changes that shouldn't be added to the master branch? And if you're new to Git, the master branch is where all the working stuff should be located. And if you or one of your team members is going to add some experimental new stuff, then you should make a new branch and work on your branch first. So what I can do here is I can use my local repository here and I can right click on my master and I can say, well, let's make a branch from master and I give this branch now a name. Let's call it maybe UI changes and I create that branch here. And now also, as you can see here, UI changes is my current branch. So now if I go into my main storyboard, for example, and make some changes here, like um, changing the button of this uh, changing the color of this button, then I obviously have made a change that I can now commit. So I'm just using my source control option here and commit my change. And as you can see here, there are all the differences here and I can tell this to be um, UI update. 
and I can also select this push to remote button and as you can see this is now a branch from origin and UI changes. So I'm creating this branch now also in my remote repository. I am committing seven files because I've also made some other changes since my last commit. But as you can see now, I also get my avatar here from GitHub because I now made some changes here. And as you can also see now, we are now in the UI changes branch. And if I open up GitHub now on the web, then you can see that these changes have already been noticed by GitHub. And we can see that we have a new branch here that we can switch to. For example, we have the UI changes branch now here. And if we now decide that the changes we made in our UI changes branch are all right with the master branch and we can see here in GitHub at the moment that this branch, the UI changes branch, is one commit ahead of master. So you would get a, another message if you committed several times here. So you must make sure that you first pull the master um, from GitHub if you're working together with a team and if there were commits to the master then you also need to pull the uh, newest master to your project and then uh, merge your changes with the master so that you know that this also works. And the way you can do that is either you can uh, select the master here and decide that you would like to ma merge the master into UI changes or what we'd like to do now is we'd like to merge UI changes into master and this changes from the current branch UI changes will be merged into master now. So we hit the merge button and we are detecting conflicts and now Xcode is going to provide us again with a div. So now I could look through all of the differences that we make and we merge into our master again. So now we are in master again. And if we have a look at our main storyboard, we can see that uh, although we are now in the master branch, also the master branch now has the red button and no longer the blue one. And since I do not like the red color at all, I'm going to change that back to the default color. Let me also make one last chance uh, change here in my um, app delegate file, adding one more one more comment here and just to illustrate that we can now commit these changes again and we can also decide which files we'd like to commit here. So we have made a change to uh, the main storyboard and the app delegate.swift. I've just selected them and I'm going to call this message or enter a description for this message here like um, reverted back to uh, blue color and added a comment. And now I can also decide that I'd like to push that again to my master in um, on my GitHub repository online, and I'm committing that. And now if we open that in GitHub, then we can see that our UI changes branch is now one commit behind the master, and we can switch back to the master. And we have the newest update here, which is reverted back to blue color and added a comment. So this was just a very quick overview about the new Git features in Xcode. I think this is really cool. Let me know if you'd like to hear more about these features in the future. Please make sure to register for free for Swift Tutorial Conference or check out the Early Bird Conference Bundle. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one or tomorrow when you decide to attend Swift Tutorial Conference.